versus the internet. How can Prego. you we had a lofty goal. Create a new program for Kevin vs. the Internet. Monday night. To feature a late show style comedy monologue in the mold of Johnny Carson and Jay Leno. Questions and comments from viewers and more surprises. But the reaction of test audiences to our jokes was disappointing. Wait, come back! Hey, space station e mix space station face. Would it be possible if I could have my shoes back? California legalized the sale of recreational marijuana. Yet they're losing money in tax revenue to the black market. You know your government's in trouble when they can't even make money selling drugs. Come on. Yeah. Hey, did you hear about this volcano in Iceland? Lots of people are watching the live streams of it. In fact, so many people are watching it, the NBA is thinking of having games in front of it so somebody will watch them. Because their ratings are terrible. Yeah, and their ratings are so bad that they're losing brand recognition. In fact, 7 out of 10 people think that the NBA is something you get at business school. Yeah. Yeah. Orange juice. Of course I'm using a glass. <laughs> no one laughing at your jokes, huh? That's rough. Maybe you just need some confidence. Or maybe you haven't found the right audience yet. You're right. How much do I owe you for the version tequila? You mean the club soda with lime? On the house. Gee, thanks. Hey. Did you hear that President Trump is hey, thinking about... You trying to tell me a joke? Well, I thought that you... Get out! What? Get out of here before I call the cops! Something the bartender said rang true. We hadn't found the right audience. The production team had a meeting. We decided it was time to journey into the deepest jungles to find out if our comedy show was on the right track. Legend has it that when Fred de Cordova needed a new host for The Tonight Show, he sent Johnny Carson to the temples of Angkor Wat. If the monkeys that haunted their ancient edifices laughed at his jokes, he would be hired. We decided that we too would leave our fate to the monkeys. But since we didn't have the budget to fly to Cambodia and Angkor Wat, a compromise was made. Speaking of President Xi of China, Xi said that he and President Biden are old friends. As you may recall, after his visit to China as Vice President, Biden's son's firm received $1 billion from China. However, at the G7 summit, Biden denied that he and Xi are old friends. Rather, we're just friends with benefits. Aid to former President Trump started a new social media platform called Getter. 
get her. <laughs> Sounds like a dating app for President Clinton. The aide said that the platform would be censorship free. To which Stormy Daniels responded, finally, a place I don't have to worry about non-disclosure agreements. <laughs> You know, there's a massive influx of people illegally crossing into America from Mexico. To combat it, Texas has announced they're going to build their own border wall. It'll be exactly like Trump's, except at the border crossings, they'll have saloon doors. You know, your teacher is a poopy head. And your principal eats his own boogers. <laughs> hey, you're a great audience. And you know your school janitor? <laughs> Guess what? We had our first success. And others would follow. Monday night would finally debut on Kevin versus the Internet. <laughs>